Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today we're going to be building a fire truck. This is still going along with the uh, world theme that I've been doing. If you watched my last episode, that was an ambulance. And then a couple episodes before that, I had a police SUV and SWAT van. That's all going to stay in the same world. I've got some more plans that I want to do in this world, so definitely excited about that. I, I'm not going to put it up for download yet. Uh, I still have some more stuff. I want, I want to just kind of fill it up with quite a few things and then release it to you guys. So we're going to get to work on that. Uh, I'm going to do a pretty traditional looking fire truck. I almost started doing the one with the big trailer and ladder. And I don't think I'm going to do that one yet. That's a really huge one. Uh, I think I'm going to do just the traditional stubby. I say stubby. It's a stubbier one with a uh, just a standard ladder on top. So... All right, we're looking, you know, I'm going to make sure I do it right this time. I already see that I'm starting this off wrong. I had this, if you watch my last build, I have an issue when I use this off-road tire. If, like, I got to make sure when I'm going to turn with it, I have enough clearance here in the wheel well. And I need five blocks on top. Technically seven, but I'm not counting the slanted blocks I'm going to add in here. So, I, I'm, I'm not going to have to tear this thing apart, so I'm really excited about that, so... Yeah, that looks good. Uh, we're ready to start on the cab. The cab's going to be pretty standard. I think we're going to seat four in there, maybe five. I'll have to see how much room I have in there. I've got a bunch of pictures pulled up of the insides of fire trucks, so I'll have to see how many I'm going to put in here. I'm not sure. Hmm, does that seem... Is that too tall? No, no, that's going to compress. I'm trying to figure out if this wheel's going to be... Those are going to compress pretty far up in the wheel well, so I really don't think what I'm building here is too tall. Like, at first it looks really tall, but I think once it settles into the ground, this should be the right height. Um, now i got to figure out how I'm going to do... Like, on older trucks, I think the back was morely open, and you can walk up for the back passengers, but I think in new trucks, it's just standard four doors, and you'll have the seats. Uh, let's see, it looks like they either do three or... Actually, I don't like I'm going to be able to do three here. I don't have enough room. Let's uh, stick with the two. Actually, I need to get that lined up. Um, I'm going to cover up that suspension piece. You see that hanging up through the floor. Uh, I just needed plenty of... Uh, I needed plenty of suspension there because this is going to be an extremely heavy vehicle. So, I'll, uh, I'll cover that up. Um, let's see. Do I want to... I guess I should go ahead and start on the like the roof and figure out where that's going to, like how high I need to get that. I'm thinking probably right there. Actually, the front's measured out. Let me cut the back off. Uh, next, we're going to go, um, I'm going to start the center section. I'm going to split this into three sections. Um, the center section is really easy. Uh, it's going to be one block smaller as far as how round it is. That's going to be where all the pumps are going to set and all the uh, mechanical things in there. And then I'm going to do the back section. We'll have storage. And that's where the base of the ladder is going to sit. And uh, I'm going to figure out how I want to do the ladder. I'm pretty sure I'll use some electric motors and maybe another cockpit up there. That way we can control it and make sure I can walk up it too. Uh, let's see, I need to leave an opening here. That way I can eject, so I need to go grab a bearing. Hmm, does that look right? Is that too... No, that shouldn't be... I don't think like that's too stubby. Uh, I'm trying to get this to... I don't need to have this wheel wheel in the back. It doesn't need to be as big as the front one. I know it's odd not having it the same size as the front one, but it's really just that clearance thing. I think it would look funny having such a big one in the back, so we'll leave it like this. This, this, this is going to, one, two, three. Yeah, that should fit. I'm trying to remember my, uh, my, how, like, the, how wide the wheels are. But yeah, that should be good. I, I'll create a little platform in there, and it'll house the suspension. Uh, let's see, judging off the picture here, I need to be quite a bit longer, and then I'm going to slant down the back of the truck just a bit, and I'll put the uh, like the poles on the back that you can hang on to uh, and ride onto the back. I kind of wish you could do that in the game, but I guess you can't. That'd be kind of cool if be able to, like, I, I think I mentioned this in other vi uh, videos, I'd like to be able to have like a ladder, where, or like where you can make your own and you could attach the character. Oh, is that good? Yeah, okay, yeah. And that would be cool to be able to attach the character on there. And that would be neat. You know, you could be riding on the back. and Or if you had some sort of ladder. I don't know how I'm going to get up on top of it. Uh, I might just have to use the lift every time. Since I don't have, like, I can't, like, build a set of stairs on the side of it. So, 
That actually, this looks pretty cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and slant the back down just a bit. Maybe just one block will do. And then uh, we're probably ready. I want to go ahead and paint next. Or I think I'm going to do that next. I need to paint. Uh, go ahead and start that before I get behind on it. And I'll have to really, like stress and try to get into the, all the little spots. I have the truck pretty open right now, so the inside is still hollow and I can get in here and really paint everything. Uh, it looks like there was I was missing one piece up here. Like um, I don't know who, really what it is, but up on the cockpit on, a lot, on most of these trucks, it slants up one, uh, well, as far as like the length, it's one more block I'm thinking we'll do. It just slants up like that. I'm not really sure if there's a purpose. Maybe there's some sort of electronics in there or something's being housed in there. I'm not really sure what it is, but I'm going to make sure I have it on my truck. Um, I guess next we can go ahead and place the suspension in the back. Hook. I'll go and hook those up and then we'll probably be ready to paint. And then I'm going to make uh, make sure I put another wall in here. That way I can store some stuff in the side. I'll hook some controllers up here in a minute. Let's see. Where's the wheel? Uh, why do I have a feeling that door's not going to work? And I'll test it the first time. Some reason when you make, you try to make like unique doors, like they don't close. And I'm not really sure why. It's and It seems like sometimes they will and sometimes they won't. Um, let's see. Does that white look... Even. Let's go down. Get the white up there. I need to keep everything, I guess, in a line here. Uh, I'm going to do the, the top's going to be white, and then I'm going to have one white stripe below it. Uh, something like that. Actually, I don't know if that white stripe, maybe I'll, maybe I'll lower it by one. Let's see. Go ahead and do that. Get that taken care of here and we'll come around to this side and cut that up that way maybe I should lower that white one I'm not really sure um, hmm also I'm really interested what I'm gonna do for all the instrument panels uh, for the pumps and all that oops screwed that up let's see we go around to the front here let's make sure we get the second line you know what? yeah that line's gonna have to be that's not gonna work the line needs to be one lower uh, most of the pictures, it looks like the uh, second white line on most of these pictures is actually even with the headlights. So let me go ahead and lower that one. Let's see. Also, I painted the uh, middle section. It doesn't look much different than the normal like metal paint, but it actually is. Oh, how did I do that? I guess I screwed that up. Let me replace that with the metal block. But yeah, I painted it like a, uh, a lighter gray. Uh, just try to change it up from what the original paint is. You know what? I've screwed up the side, too. These aren't even up at the top. I'll need to go back and fix that, too. Let's see. For You know, majority of the truck is done here. Um, I'm going to do some touch-up work. Uh, put doors on it. I need to work on that instrument panel here in a minute. Uh, the biggest challenge is to me it might be the ladder. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm thinking of like sticking a pipe out of the ground with the bearing on it and putting building like a platform, sticking a seat on one, one side and then having the ladder uh, start from there and then it'll go all the way to the front of the truck and then I'll also need like a, uh, maybe a, I don't know what they call it, like a basket or something. Uh, I want to be able to like climb up and set, like some don't have baskets, uh, some just have just a straight ladder but I'm going to actually stick a basket on the front of mine. I think it, it'd look cool and plus once you're at the top you can go set up in the basket. Uh, let's see, he's going to paint these seats black. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I think, hmm, everything's looking pretty good here. Uh, actually, not, I'm missing a couple pieces there. I guess that looks good for dials, I'm not really sure. I don't know, we're just going to add a bunch of random pieces here. Uh, I don't like there's no gauges and dials and all that in the uh, scrap mechanic so I'm actually using the bolts and the screws um, need a button here that's gonna I'll probably map the button to open up the side doors on the side here maybe I can throw a controller in here let's go around to the other side and go ahead and start adding some of this let's see maybe something like that and uh, maybe like that and then let's go ahead and add a couple of these little twist nozzles or whatever you want to call them 
It looks pretty good. Um, I don't want to put too much on there because I don't want to make it look overly busy, but I think that'll work. Ooh, I really need to paint that fender. That's going to bug me if I miss that. There we go. But yeah, we'll hook some controllers in there. Close, close, close. Okay, I don't get this. This side clears. Like, I had another door a while ago. It's the same design, yet it wouldn't close all the way. And I don't know what that is about scrap mechanic. I've had that happen before. And then I just deleted it, rebuilt it, and it works. This side? Okay, let's do this side. See if we have the same issue, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to. Let's see. Close it, hook it up to the button. It should open up. Let's stick it at 90. Let's slow it down and let's see, click the button. Oh, bearings are aiming the wrong way. Let's switch that around real quick. And paint the door here. That was really loud. Uh, let's see, they're doing road by the way, they're doing road work outside my house, and it's it's really annoying. So if you if you catch any background noise, I'm gonna try my best to eliminate it, but if you hear any background noise, that's what it is. Hmm. That didn't seem to work. Uh, we'll delete it and we'll just stick it back on. Should fix it then. There it goes. Okay. And and it's stuck. I'll have to figure this out. Hmm. Alright, I'm thinking here, here, we're gonna do this is where the uh, people could I guess hold on for dear life. I don't know if they really, you know, I don't know if this is really a thing anymore. Uh, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Every time I see a fire truck, I never see anybody hanging on the bed. I, I think that was like an, an older thing to do. Um, I never see it anymore when I see fire trucks going. Uh, but I still want to have it. I still like the bars are on most of them, but I just don't. I don't think it's practice much today now like I said I could be wrong it might just be where I am but I don't see firefighters hanging off the back of fire trucks anymore but it surely looks cool like this whole thing looks cool let's see what do I need to do next I guess I'm going to put some rear view mirrors and then there needs to be one more bar uh, right by the driver door I guess it's where you can climb up into it so mirror um don't want to do it like no actually I think that actually looks pretty good so we're going to do that on both sides, and we'll add that extra bar. But anyways, yeah, um, I wanted to mention, like I said, I am going to apologize for the lack. Of, well, I only missed one video. I missed Thursday. I'm going to make enough videos to cover the weekend. Uh, it's been kind of a crazy week at work. If you watch any of my other videos, I've mentioned this, or I've probably mentioned this in my past couple videos. Uh, yeah, it's it's been really nutty at work, but uh, I'm definitely I'm going to have this scrap mechanic video, and I'll have one more tomorrow. And then we'll probably finish the weekend off with Planet Coaster. So realistically, I thought I was going to miss two days of videos, but I'm only missing one, and that was yesterday, Thursday. So uh, I'm pretty happy about that. I was really concerned because uh, everything's been going really good, and like I've been getting a lot of subs. And by the way, if you're a new sub, welcome. Uh, but yeah, it's been really nutty, and I was like, you know, I'm trying to keep myself up to a fairly consistent schedule. And it's, it's sometimes it's really pretty hard to do with a full time job, and especially kind of as crazy as mine is. But yeah, we'll hopefully keep that up with uh, you know we'll just keep up. I'll try to give you as much news or as a heads up as possible. Uh, if you don't follow my Twitter feed, you know it's down below. If you want to follow that, you'll get you know if I'm not going to do a video that day or something something's happening, you know I'll be able to tell you there. Uh, next, we're gonna do the lights. Uh, I'm gonna keep with the same traditional you know, like the red blue, but I'm going to cut them out and I'm going to paint the tile blocks. To me, it looks better when you paint these tiles. Uh, they just look, I don't know when you paint them, they look, they actually kind of look like lights, even though they don't actually light up or flash, but it's just still, it's one of those things I like to use. I've used them all the, on all of the other vehicles, so we're definitely going to stick with that. Yeah, it looks good. I'll, uh, I've got a couple more to stick on here and we should be ready to do the ladder. Okay, hopefully this design works. The last one didn't work. Uh, I didn't put the pipe up. I just stuck a bearing, and then I stuck the... Uh, and I don't know what it... Like, why it did... Like, why it reacted the way it did, but... Uh, for some reason, when I stuck the bearing and then started the, uh, the metal pieces, it didn't want to turn. And then once I deleted the seat, it just started spinning like crazy. So, I think if I elevated one off the uh, roof of the 
fire truck that should be good. So, ooh, that's a <laughs> okay. That's a little too much. Uh, we're gonna have to go down with the power. But anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna think I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna have it where you can turn it a full 360, and then I'll put a controller on here, and it'll elevate the. And the reason I want to do it by with the controller because I have a feeling if I do it with a, a another motor, I want to be able to elevate the ladder up, and I want it to stay. Uh, I don't think I could do that with the electric motor. I have a feeling it would just drop back down. So I'm going to do that with the controller. And we'll make it where the ladder will lift up and make sure the basket actually leans forward. That way it's level. But yeah, we're going to do that. I'm trying to think of a ladder design here. Let's go ahead and place the controller. Ladder, I'm probably going to make it all out of pipe here. I think it's going to be the easiest way to do this. Um, or at least the way that looks the best. I only need one bearing here. Let's. Uh, I'm thinking. I don't know. Let's come out like that. Nope. Wrong way. Something like that, and then we'll start to come up. I need to make the ladder like go all the way out to the front of the truck, but it also needs to come up. That way, you'd have like handrails. So. Um. No. That needs to go up. Like starting probably there, that should clear that block. So, um, let me. I'm gonna need to swing this back around too to make sure it looks like it actually locks into the other side. Even though I only can use one bearing for this, um, so we'll need to come back here and I'll swing back into the metal block here, uh, like that. So that makes it look like it actually hooked in. So yeah, now we can start the latter part. Uh, I'll probably show you the design I'm going to do, and then I'll finish it up here in a second. Let's see. So I'm thinking like this will come up. And maybe one more. And then we'll start to swing this way. And then I'll make bars, like across. That way you can walk up it, and then I'll make bars and make it look like it actually has supports here. So... Let's see. I'm looking at a ladder here. Picture-wise, this is, this will be pretty close, actually. So, let's see. I'm trying to make sure. I think I'm going to put one in between. So, I think I'll have, like, a pole, blank space, pole, blank space, pole, blank space. And just try to keep a pattern up here. Let's see. So, let's go ahead and start out. Oh, I need to go like that. So, here's what we're thinking. We're going to go up. Let's go up on both sides. And then we're going to go across, and then we'll just hook that top handrail into it, and we'll continue that all the way down until we get to the basket, and then I'll see what I'm going to do there. Uh, shouldn't be too complicated to put a basket on it. Just probably needs to be like a base and some handrails, and you should be good to go. Let's see. Yeah, that looks that looks good. Uh, you know, I almost wanted to have it where you could extend this ladder, and I couldn't really come up with the design that would be efficient to be able to do that like I've seen some where they like fold out and that's not really the way a ladder as far as a, a fire ladder works it's got the big ladder and then it's got a little skinnier piece and that piece should really just slide out the front and I cannot picture a way to do that like I almost thought about trying to use some sort of tire system to roll it out but I, I can't think of an efficient way to do that so we're probably gonna have to keep it as like the same length that it is now now maybe uh, down the line if I do a bigger fire truck the one that I was talking about with like a trailer maybe I can think of a system to do that but I don't think like I have enough room here on the top of this so we'll just keep it the way it is and we'll uh well first I gotta test it and make sure it even works and hopefully um, I think the controller's got enough power it should lift it so I shouldn't have an issue there let's see is that there there we go that looks good. I'm happy. Make sure we can walk on it. Yeah, I just need to set this up. Uh, can we still spin? Oh, yeah. Okay, we're still pivoting, so we're good. Uh, I knew those, those electric motors have quite a bit of power in there, so I was fairly confident that it shouldn't have an issue. But, yeah, I'm going to put a railing around that, and we'll add a controller and make it go. I did not think about that when I designed this. Uh, normally I have a roof hatch. And I, I forgot the whole fact that I'm going to have a ladder on top of it. Um, but it seems to actually move the ladder out of the way, so I guess it's going to be fine. Uh, what we did, we added a little bar on each side of the ladder to keep it from fully turning. 
Uh, it had a point where, like, when I was driving, it would swing all the way out, but I, I believe I fixed that. Let's see. Handle's pretty good, actually. Um, I'm getting better with using these big, heavy metal, like, vehicles, so I'm happy that that works. <clears throat> And uh, another thing I probably need to apologize for, if my my voice sounds a little hoarse, uh, I've, I've had like a little bit of sickness the past couple of days. Uh, of course, uh, it, it always comes at really convenient times when when I've got a lot of work to do and then I've got videos to make. And now I'm, oh, uh oh, I think I've high centered here. Actually, no, I think the back is catching. I'm about to reset this. Hmm. Note to self, you cannot drive up big hills. Alright, well, at least that works. Uh, let's see. Actually, am I stuck? No. Okay, we're good. Uh, let's go set this up. Oh, I want to show you how the ladder works, too. So, let's see. Let's go put it by the police station. Uh, yeah, I didn't think of a good way to get up here. You can just look at the seat and just do it that way, but kind of was hoping to like, find a way I can actually you know, climb up on it, but eh. That looks good, and besides the whole point, the fact that I'm missing a couple paint spots, I need to go back and try to paint some of this, but yeah, you can climb up this, and you can set in the basket, so it works, and that's pretty cool. Uh, I just need to go back and paint some of it, because I'm missing parts. Uh, it's always kind of tough when you have like these big builds and have a bunch of little pieces, and you can't like stretch the paint tool and paint the whole ladder. You have to go back there and paint all individual parts, so that, that kind of sucks, but... Let's see. There we go. All right. I think we're almost wrapped up for this video, guys. Um, eventually, I do want to do like a station, a fire station along with the hospital. There's, there's a lot of plans for this world. Um, I have a lot of suggestions. I've noticed over the past couple of days, I've been getting a lot more comments for suggestions. So I'm going to try to keep up with that, but I cannot guarantee I'm going to get to everything, and I cannot guarantee I'm going to get to everything in a, like, a timely manner. It's a, It's been pretty crazy with the amount of suggestions that I've got, but I, I, I like it. Like I said, I like seeing comments on my videos. It's always really rewarding and cool, so it makes me you know realize that people are actually watching, so that's cool. Uh, we're going to stick a couple things in these little storage areas and just make it look like it's uh, got some, I don't know, Crap, I'm pretty sure we'd have some cones on board, and we'll go stick this fuse box in the other one, but let's see. Yeah. Man, that actually looks really good. I'm quite happy with that. Uh, I feel like even if I were to go to the other design, the bigger truck with the trailer on it, I think that would look cool, too. We're going to have a lot of rescue vehicles in here. Um, eventually, I want to figure out how to get something in the air, you know, a rescue vehicle or a helicopter or something. But that's going to take a long time, so I'll have to see when I can put that together. But uh, anyways, that's going to about wrap it up for this video, guys. If you'd like to like the video, if you'd like to subscribe, if you haven't already. Uh, we've got plenty of scrap mechanic coming out. I've got Planet Coaster coming. Like I said, this weekend's going to work. Uh, you get This episode of Scrap Mechanic, you're going to get another one tomorrow. And then we'll, have, we'll wrap it up with Planet Coaster on Sunday. And then uh, next week, we should return to normal, so... Anyways, I hope you enjoyed, and we will see you guys next time.